real quick, we got a great guest coming out here in just one second. But before we do that, I just want to ask you a question. What are you going to be doing tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.? Oh, that old interview, huh? Yeah, tomorrow morning. Is it 7 a.m.? Tomorrow morning on CBS This Morning, our great friend uh, Gail King yes. is going to have the first interview with Ivanka Trump since her father became president of the United States. Got to check it be, out. Got to check that out, yeah. And I'm sure Ivanka's going to stop by here afterwards. She probably I'm sure. should, right? We got one guy up here who voted for her dad. It's going to be great. Oh. <laughs> We're fantastic. We're fantastic. Right? She'll come by here. She'll definitely, she'll definitely come by here. Anyway, folks, uh, my first guest tonight is an Emmy and Grammy award-winning comedian who's released his seventh hour-long comedy special. Please welcome my former boss, Louis C.K. Thank you. It's very nice of you. Thank yeah. you. It's, re yeah. it's really nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too. We've seen each other. The, what I was explaining uh, when, before when I said you were my boss, yeah. except for the people who don't know, is that you were the head writer of the Dana Carvey show back That's in right. 96. 96? Five. Something like that. 90, 96, something yeah. like that. And I was one of the writer the cast past. members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time ago. Jeez, holy moly, it was a long time ago. It yeah. really was, yeah. 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 Yeah, you were... Uh, like, a, I remember you weren't of this world to me. You were like, a, I just had never seen anybody that looks like you or I talks think I like incredibly you. average. Well, now you're Stephen Colbert. You're king of the king of late night now. You're, you're, you're a big shot. Yeah, That's right. You're number one. You're the top of the charts. But at the time, you were just this very, very weird-looking dude who... Uh, and you had this, you were like, hi. Like you were a... I was socialized, no, is what you, you mean. What you, it's, no, you were like an like a alien who studied human behavior <laughs> and got close but didn't quite get there. You're, you're describing a sociopath. No, no. <laughs> like I no, could murder no, you I think my you're the next uh, version of human. I think I'm an X-Man. That's right. You're, you're, well, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I knew you. This was I knew you back then. It was an amazing group of people. Yeah. For the people who don't know, uh, it had the great Louis C.K. on it, Robert Smigel, for people to, who's a Triumph the Insult comic yes. dog. Yeah. Of course, Charlie Dana Carvey. Charlie Kaufman, Car who won Oscars Charlie Kaufman. later. Charlie Kaufman. Yeah. yeah. Steve Carell. Yeah. So, was well, on you there. were the Steves. When we were casting the show, yeah. it was you and Steve Carell. You were, were the Steves. Right. And neither one of us thought we would get the gig. Right. Because we were sure guys. you were going to hire the other guy, and you can't have both of us. Yeah, we, we decided to go, we're going to, we talked about the Steves, that's what we talked about. Yeah. And you were a funny pair, you were a weird funny pair. <laughs> um, he looked like every man, yeah. and you looked like no people. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying hard to yeah. make this feel like a compliment. No, it really is. It is. <laughs> It I is. You're a like remarkable no person. You're just, well, yeah, okay. you're unusual. Well, uh, we have a clip here. We have a clip Freak. here of... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that that was have... me on purpose. We, I was thinner. Yeah. We have, we have a clip here uh, of uh, one of the many... It was a sketch show. Yeah. And a great, fun sketch show that was uh, yeah. stressful. Yes, it was hard to work time. on. Um, uh, I'll, we've got a nice little stressful story to tell, but let's, let's show okay. the clip, clip first. Sure. This is a clip of uh, a, a, a commercial for a bright new future for the world. Right. And you and I are both in it. See if you can okay. find us okay. in this commercial. The wonder of technology, improving our daily lives at a breakneck pace. As the millennium approaches, new wonders await us in our techno future. <laughs> the common shirt will come equipped with a meter tells you how many times you've worn it. No more needless wondering. It's right there for you to read. Developments in genetic engineering will create a new kind of fish that breathes air. They will make excellent house pets. And finally, new glasses will be developed that block out everything but swarms of bees. No danger today and none tomorrow in the techno future. 
canceled. I know. How could that's, that? That's how Robert that Smigel's voice. Yeah. And uh, you, I remember the day we shot you with the fish. Yeah. We had a, it was a live carp, and we kept it in a big barrel, and it was alive in there. And then because we wanted it to flop around. Yeah. I mean, I'm ashamed now, but <laughs> at the time, nobody knew that fish are, you know, very important people. Yeah. And now we know, but. Yeah. Uh, what is the statute of limitations for cruelty to trout? To, yeah, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, mm -hmm. look, if I did something wrong, I'm ready. <laughs> to... Real quick, though, I do want to tell this one story. Is uh, It was a really stressful show. We were canceled. Let's put that there. That's we were right. canceled in seven shows. Eight of yeah. them were made. Seven of them were broadcast. Right. And uh, I'm very proud of it. I thought it yeah, was fun. It was good. I thought it was a funny it was fun. show. Yeah, sure. it was a funny show. You were the head writer, stressful yeah. situation to be in. Yeah, I was 26 years old, so it was, I was a little over my head. Wow. Rocking that lemon yellow sweater, though. That's right. That's right. And I think it was after the very first show we shot where Dana was breastfeeding puppies and kittens dressed yeah. as Bill Clinton That's right. with animal teats down right. his All body. The way with milk spurting out of him. And people operating bulbs with milk coming out of milk his teeth. Milk coming out, and he's to, got to... real live puppies and right, kittens. Right, exactly. And uh, it didn't go well. I come around a corner, and we had all these little uh, offices set yeah. up. I come around the corner, dressing rooms, and you're in the middle of the hallway, uh, openly weeping. Yeah, I was crying. That's right. Do you remember why I you actually were crying? When I actually, I went into your, you, they had these little stalls for quick changing. I was in your stall. I dragged you into the stall. Oh, that's right. You because I thought it yeah. wouldn't be good for the head writer to be openly weeping. In the middle of the hallway. <laughs> between two shows. And good, so I dragged you in, and I did pratfalls for you. That's right. To try to make you, you laugh. You made me laugh. And yeah. uh, that's where I fell in love with Steven. He was very good to me then, yeah. It's true. That's kind of where it's I fell true. in love with Louis. I, until that moment, I thought he was an uh, alien who would come. <laughs> and then that day, yes, it was yeah. a terrible day. It's just sketch comedy is stressful. It's weird that it is, but sketch comedy is a, co it's a, it's a very difficult thing it's to do. It's harder than anything. It's like writing sonnets. Like, yes. Every single one's got a beginning, middle, and end. That's right. And then it's over in like three to eight minutes. That's and right. And you have to do another. Yes, it's very stressful, and I was, I was shaking and crying. Yeah. And I didn't really know you very well, yeah. and you said, come on. And you took me into your little room. Yeah. And you opened your pants. I don't know why, but... <laughs> <laughs> Got to laugh. Felt like it was going. That's there. why. Felt like got it was going there. Exactly. Well, um, no, you were just uh, very kind to me. You were very kind to me. Okay. Steven's a very kind. Uh, you can tell by listening to him talk. He's no, a no. good. You're, good you're fan. a very kind person too. You're very, very <laughs> sweet. Okay. Should I go to a break or just keep going? What's this mean? Take a little break. We'll be. Uh, take a little break. We'll be right back with more Louis C.K. <laughs> Stick around.